Game of Thrones is back and the frenzy is on all over the world. Of course, Nigerians are not left out because after waiting for close to two years for the final season of the drama, the wait is over. We open the show today with a look at how GOT fans celebrated the season premiere in Lagos, Nigeria. Fans of hit TV series Game of Thrones in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria joined the global frenzy as they gathered for a special screening of the first episode of the eight seasons of the drama, which producers say will mark the end of the show, which first aired in April 2011. Excitement is almost palpable with the arrival of the final season, which will bring events in fictional Westeros to a climax as the living prepare to battle the dead. <laughs> the drama employs themes of power, honor and betrayal to tell a compelling story that millions have become addicted to. Sometimes, you know, something comes out, a story that people can connect to, the quest for power. I mean, in Nigeria, we run our own game of thrones with people vying for all the top positions in the country. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a plot that most people across the world are quite familiar with, you know, and yeah, so I think somehow it's been able to connect to some of the human emotions that we're used to. So, yeah, I'm not even, Surprised. The screening in Lagos, which held just hours after the premiere on American television network HBO, attracted mostly young viewers, as well as a handful of popular personalities of the entertainment industry, including Melvin Odua, Bolly Lomo, and writer Tony Khan, who says he belongs to House Stark. I've seen it twice today. <laughs> so I'm just here to hang out. <laughs> I saw it last night. I mean, I set, I set my alarm for 1.55. Um, I watched it, I recorded it, I watched it again. Last night, one billion people tuned in to watch it. One billion. This is like um, a cultural shift, you know. Um, it's a period piece, it's not even like a reality TV show. So it's just, it's, it's, it's working on the power of his storytelling, you know, and the human emotions that he evokes, you know, and that's what, why we buy books, that's why we watch movies, you know, to be transported into something very, very good, you know, and this does it very well. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Home. They're coming. Enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. While some fans like actor Chris Okagwe began watching the show early on, some others like Esther Odumosu say they have binge watched in order to catch up with the story. From the very first scene of the very first episode of the very first season. I don't think it can get any clearer than that. I mean, it's just crazy how every few years a show will just come and take over the entire world. But obviously, Game of Thrones right now is the, is the most watched show on the planet, which is just amazing. Billions of people tuning to watch the show. And to think of how it just started like a regular epic show with the wars and the horses and chariots and sword fights and all of that. But it's just, it just you know, exploded into something quite unbelievable. I, I, can, I can only say that I'm very proud to be one of those that started following the show from day one, not one of those people that just get to hear about it because everyone else is talking about it and just joined the wagon. So I feel like I, I have a deeper, more sentimental connection to the show. So yes, I'm proud. I'm really excited to be here. The only thing that really excites me is Khaleesi. Like, I'm really obsessed. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with her. That's it, and Jon Snow. Yeah, I'm really obsessed with both of them. And actually, it is weird, but I actually like the Ice King. A Kagwe, whose favorite character is Tyrion Lannister, says Nigeria's film industry also has epic stories that can attract global attention. Yes, I don't know if you've heard of Ajoche. 
Our Joche is like our own Game of Thrones. And I'm not only saying it because I'm on the show. Yes, by the way, I play Ekere, one of the leftovers on Ajoche. I'm blowing my own horn now. But yes, I feel like that is our own version of Game of Thrones because it has a massive fan base, a massive following. A lot of people love the show. A lot of people follow the show. Probably more than actors on the show because we barely even have time to watch it because we are spending most of our time shooting it for the audience to watch. So I think that, yes, um, and I, I, what, what's special about it is that Ajoche was created by a very young um, set of people who are exposed enough to know that it's time for a change you know we have original African stories we, it, we, it can never finish if we decide to focus on our own stories we will tell stories we will go tired you know and Ajacho is just one out of many to come so yes I think that's our own version of Game of Thrones and I, I can find myself saying maybe I am the Jon Snow of Ajacho. The final episode of the multi-million dollar budget series is scheduled to air on May the 19th, 2019.